I've always talked about budgeting on this channel and its usefulness, but you might find it unnecessary or even a waste of time. If you still have doubts about budgeting, let me break down several myths about budgeting and why they are untrue. Hello, future millionaires. My name is Munif Ali. I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s and I built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars in sales. I started making videos like this to share my life experiences so that I could teach other people how to become more successful and financially savvy. So if you like the kind of content that I'm giving you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like the video and share it with people that might find this content useful. Budgets are only for other people. Some think that budgeting is only for wealthy people or business owners or people who have a lot of investments or make a lot of financial changes in their life. These are not true. There's nothing wrong with you wanting to improve your financial status no matter where you are. And everyone can have a budget. Don't fall for the YOLO mentality of just enjoying the moment and wasting your hard earned money. I always say that everyone should make a budget, whether you're a businessman or a nine to five employee, whether you're a student or a teacher, it doesn't matter. Budgeting is the first step that you need to do in order to reach financial freedom. And you have to look closely at where your money comes from and where it goes so you actually know how you spend it, especially on non-essential and non-needed stuff. Budgets are too stressful. Stop making excuses. Are you creating a budget that's causing you stress? Well, guess what? Running out of money because you're mindlessly spending on a new phone or a watch or a Rolex or a purse or whatever you do, even dining out all the time, is definitely much more stressful in the end. In fact, budgeting exists so that you can actually decrease your level of stress. And according to a study, people who practice budgeting said they felt more in control of their money and felt more secure. If you actually want to have a stress-free life, make budgeting a part of your financial goals. And myth number three is that budgets need to be highly detailed. No, budgets don't need to be highly detailed. You don't need some super duper Excel spreadsheet or some weird app. You can simply start by writing stuff down. It starts with creating a budget by knowing what your income is, like your household expenses, your food and whatnot, and whatever the difference between your expenses and your income. And you can just follow that simple formula to set up and then start adding details as you go so it doesn't have to be overcomplicated at all. Budgets mean that I actually have to cut down on fun. One of the reasons why I became a multimillionaire is because I started budgeting at a very early age and I literally hung out with friends without ordering things sometimes except for water. We would go out and hang out, I didn't drink. I had a strict budget and sometimes that led to people making comments, but it's okay. I put every single dime that I saved up into real estate at an early age and it didn't necessarily mean I wasn't having fun at all. It just meant that I was aware of how much I was spending and I was aware of how much I was making. So budgeting exists so that you can allocate a certain amount of money to socializing and to hobbies and to travel. But to do that, you have to be aware of just how much income you're making. Going over budget means that you have to blow everything. And there's a lot of people who have that extreme approach like, oh, I just you know ate this, so I'm gonna blow my whole diet. Going over budget doesn't mean that you have to blow everything. Maybe you wanna break your budget rules here and there for maybe a special event, maybe it's a birthday party for your kids. Remember that budgeting means that you can also be flexible. You have to read your situation and adjust your budget accordingly. It doesn't have to be set in stone. And perhaps you've raised your income or received an inheritance or got a little bit more dividends from your investments. And whether your money increases or decreases, you can take control of it that way and it'll benefit you. So be flexible as well. And yes, it's okay to make a few mistakes. That doesn't mean it's game over. You just have to do a couple of adjustments here and there and then get right back on track. The same thing about working out or dieting. If you fall off a little bit, readjust. Just a quick break from the topic, I'm currently giving away a free book to help you on your journey to financial freedom. We're only doing this for a limited time, so make sure you claim your free book through the link in the description down below. You definitely don't wanna miss it. And before I tell you the last one, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button. Let me and the YouTube algorithm know that this video is valuable to you. 
I'll bring you more content like this every single week. And make sure you turn on your notification bell as well. Budgets are time hogs. So let's say you're a person that's too busy because you're working a nine to five, you got household chores, you got children, you got daily tasks. It takes so much time that you can't even give yourself 30 minutes to make a budget. You don't have to worry because there's technology that can help you do that. There are apps out there that help you manage your budget like Mint or YNAB or even Google Pay has its own budgeting allotment system. So you can easily use these apps during your bus ride home or your coffee break. It just takes a few clicks to track your budget and give yourself updates automatically and you'll be shocked how much you're spending and you'll be surprised how much you can save. Some of these apps will alert you when you're going over budget and you can also check your bank if you have a phone app and most banks have one where you can have a specific budget every single month. Convenient, right? So go ahead and try some of these apps. A lot of them are absolutely free. Just keep trying a little bit until you find the right one that works for you. Look, if you want to make it out of an endless cycle of having credit card debt because you're mismanaging your money, I encourage you to set a budget. Like I said, it's not hard. You can still have some fun and flexibility. There's apps out there to help you. It's just a basic financial strategy that will have a huge step forward in you reaching your financial goals. And it's a little bit of work at first, a little bit of adjustment, but I guarantee you it'll be worth it. You will see yourself as a millionaire soon. The more financially responsible and aware you are, the better it is. And with a budget, you might have more money in your savings for extra expenses. If you don't know what to do with extra money, I made this video, what to do with your extra money. And don't forget to like and subscribe this channel if you are enjoying this simple concept and my content.